What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and wow, we've gotten to a point in time where it's possible to play full speed PlayStation Portable games on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. And in this video, I will be showing you guys how to install a PSP emulator, PSP games, and the best optimized settings for them on a jailbroken or non-jailbroken device. So I gotta say, I'm just blown away. The fact that this emulator even exists and the fact that it runs so great on my iPhone 6 Plus. Now the developers behind this emulator have been working on this application for a while. It's not just something that came about. I remember making a video over a year and a half ago about this and it was just in the beginning stages. Games were almost unplayable, but now it's gotten to a point where they're very playable and you can run them great almost at full speed for most games. And I'll be going into all the details with you guys, you know, basically show you guys which games work good, the settings that you should run them at. And this does work on jailbroken and non-jailbroken devices. However, I do recommend you are jailbroken for this because if you're not, it doesn't allow you to run the game at full speed. I mean, it just doesn't have access to the resources in the system, but you can still do it if you're not jailbroken. And of course, the newer your device, the better this will work. I gotta say the iPhone 6 Plus is simply the best system to play this on. The screen is a perfect size to play it on. The controls are well laid out and you just have everything right there. And I'm gonna demo a game real quick to show you guys the performance on this, but you know, the newer your device, the better the ipad air 2 i've yet to try it on but i can imagine with a new aax chip it would be so much better but anyways let me go ahead and run ratchet and clank size matters and give you guys a demo of how this works all right so let me go ahead and open this up and it's gotta say it's beautiful it looks great on this gorgeous display it's optimized for the six and six plus so there's one game that i do have preloaded and this will take you back to the olden days I mean, I remember my PSP, I love that thing. All the games on it, it was just great. It was like taking your PlayStation around, that's the name, but here it is. So, let me go ahead and load my game. And this does have haptic feedback, so it feels great. It feels almost like you're actually pressing the buttons when it does vibrate on press. But, uh, this takes a little bit. Okay. So you can, of course, play around with the settings, and I'm going to talk about that later. But the settings that I have right now are pretty impressive. I mean, this is fully optimized, and it actually makes it look a little bit better because it smooths the edges. This just looks unreal on my iPhone 6 Plus display. Look at that. That is just crazy. Full speed graphics right there. Now that's not to say it's 100% perfect, it does still have some issues and of course you can get it to the best possible settings by playing around with them. Every game is a little bit different, it depends, but man, this is just crazy. It's just hard for me to believe that there's a full PSP game running at such intense graphic level on my iPhone 6 Plus. And some games work better than others, but most I found do actually run at a very great speed. I mean, it's just simply unreal. Wow. So sometimes it does get a little dark. Uh, I can actually fix this in the settings, but you know, this is just a demo right now. I'm just gonna show you what it's capable of with the graphics. But yeah, guys, anyways, let's go ahead and install this, you know, the latest and greatest PSP emulator on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. And I wouldn't recommend you do this if you have an iPhone 4 or 4S. I mean, that's just a little too low. I really can't see it running that well on older devices. Uh, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus is probably the best. Now, in City, if you guys are jailbroken, this is the easiest way to do this. Just add this source right here and uh, inside you're gonna find three applications. So I just wanna let you guys know the entire tutorial is located down below in the description, all the links, all the downloads you will need. So go ahead and click on there. It'll have extra help over there. I do recommend it, but in the games, we're gonna download the dev latest. So this is the one that works the best on the newer devices like the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. This is actually the very stable release, but I found that it works great. And, uh, you know, just go ahead and click on it, install, and it does warn you it's not at 100%, it's still in like a beta stage. So once you do have that installed, you'll see this icon on your springboard. Open it up and it'll take you to the actual game. Let me get out of this. And exit to menu. All right, so this is what you'll be greeted with. It'll show you uh, this location for the games. 
And now that you have it installed, that's the easy part. Let's go ahead and download a game and go ahead and port it to this device. Now, yes, you guys will need a computer to download games. Unfortunately, you can't download them from within the application because they are pretty big. They're around 700 to one gigabyte size in ISO format, but if you you know convert them to CSO, they're a lot smaller. But anyways, there's one more thing you guys need to install before, and that's open SSH, so we can SSH into our device and install what we need, or transport the games. So open SSH, I'm going to install it and reboot your device. And then once we're done, you're going to head over to your Wi-Fi settings. And we need to grab the IP address from in here. So this guy right here, this is the one we're going to need for our actual transfer, the open SSH transfer to our device. And now we're going to head over to our computer, download a program, which will be in the link down below. And we're going to go ahead and transfer a game to the PSP emulator. Okay, so on your computer, you guys will need to download two things. Obviously, a game of your choice. A link to where you can find them will be down below in the description. And you will need an open SSH client. So I'm using Cyberduck on a Mac. WinSAP on Windows is recommended. And I will have links down below for both. So I'm going to go ahead and run Cyberduck. Okay. And now we need to open a connection. So on WinSCP, it's going to be a little bit different, but the guide does explain everything. So up here in this bar, you want to select SFTP, SSH File Transfer Protocol. And then you want to go ahead and enter the IP address that I showed you guys in your settings. Okay, so now that I've got that in there, you guys want to enter in the username root, all lowercase, and password alpine, also all lowercase. And then select connect. So the first time it may take a little bit longer and it'll ask you something, just go ahead and select OK. But once you're in here, you guys want to navigate to the complete root of your device. So in here, this is where you're going to drop, you know, your .iso or .cso files. Make sure they are extracted because it can't unextract a .zip or whatever they may come in. So let's go ahead and drag that in there. And I already have mine in there, but it, you know, it's pretty quick depending on the speed of your internet. Uh, and I'm not going to overwrite that because I already have it. But anyways, once you guys do have that dragged in, it's simple. That's it. That's all you got to do from your computer. And every game that you do download, you guys will want to do the exact same thing. But anyways, let's go ahead and head back to my device and see what to do next. All right. So back at my device, go ahead and open up that PPSSPP emulator. And now we need to navigate to the root of our device. So you can either do an icon view or a list and scroll to the bottom and there you should see that .iso or .cso file for me it's ratchet and clank and i gotta tell you guys so the optimization is very important for each different game it might be a little bit different depending on the amount of resources the game takes the size you know stuff like that but you know this one is generally a very good example because it's a fairly light game and i'm going to show you guys how to optimize a game for your device anyways in game settings in here the best thing is usually to have non-buffered enabled. You know, in some cases, like I did show you guys, you could have black bars going on and off. Sometimes you should skip over to buffered rendering, depending on the game, sometimes just to see if it works better or not. But with this one, there are a lot of jagged edges, pretty much PSP quality, not optimized on your device. Uh, you want to make sure simulate block transfer is checked. Frame skipping, usually I keep it off, but you know, try it out for each game. If one helps, leave it at one, try two or three, and you guys don't need to restart the game. Whenever you change settings, you can see the results immediately in the game. You don't need to restart the game, and I wouldn't recommend you keep auto frame skip on. Make sure this guy is at zero, alternative speed, and all of this stuff, you know, I usually wouldn't touch. It's just down here. Play around with these guys. Depending on the game, like I said, the settings could help for the better or make it worse. It has to do a lot with experimentation. But anyways, guys, there you go. You are now running a full PSP game on your iOS device. And this one is just incredible. Just the amount of detail that I could see uh, how well it works. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with the developers. And even though this is a beta, it still works great. So anyways, guys, that is how to install a PSP emulator running at full speed on your iOS device. And, you know, this is the jailbroken method. So for non-jailbroken devices, it's a little bit different. It's a little easier. And to find out about that, it's all down below in the description. And it's a little bit different, but, you know, like I said, the non-jailbroken version doesn't run as well. So, of course, play around with the settings, see what works best, 
uh, non-buffered, buffered, just play around with it. You know, for every game, there are different settings that could look better, work better. But generally, this is a great PSP emulator. I haven't found too much wrong with it. It's still in beta stage, but it's constantly being updated. And I'm happy to report that with every update, it is getting better and better. So I do hope you guys enjoy this. This is just simply incredible. The fact that this is running on iOS and it does work on the latest 8.1. Guys, enjoy all the cool things you can do with this, all the games you can play, impress your friends. This is just simply incredible. Have a great day, guys. Peace.